to understand the Trump presidency, we must decipher Ivanka. We might as well start with Ivanka, as we plumb the present and future of Trumpism, the Trump cabinet, the Trump family, the Trump brand. Because, Ivanka, the most personable, palatable, fashionable, Trump light member of the future first family, the most inscrutable, yet most weirdly relatable. Some people think she'll be the real first lady, with her telegenic personality and her copacetic pet causes, and her lifestyle website, already dedicated to being a gracious host and professional woman. Last week, her father formally named her to his transition team. Early this week, rumors swirled, which Donald Trump later denied that the president-elect had requested top-secret security clearance for Imka and her brothers. On Monday evening, CNN's Dana Bash went on air and read out loud an incredulous text message from a friend, What clandestine operation is Imka going to run? All the operations, Dana. We can't shake the feeling that Imka is the key to this all. What is going on here? Is a question everyone is asking about everything happening at every moment in Washington right now and possibly until the end of time. On Tuesday, major news outlets reported that the transition team was a mess. On Wednesday, Donald Trump tweeted that the transition is going so smoothly, and we are reduced to scouring Ivanka Trump's Instagram feed to figure out the future of the country. Here is a video of Ivanka's daughter singing a song about pineapples, posted at the same time that a former national security official warned the world to stay away from the arrogant screaming transition team. Here is Imka, 35, in a Snapcat filtered floral headdress. Here is a current article on her pastel, aspirational lifestyle website, headlined 5 tips for mixing work and family. Family dinner agenda, appoint new attorney general, secretary of state. Imka sat for a 60 minutes interview with the rest of her family this week and folded her hands primly across her lap one wrist bedecked with a heavy gold bracelet. I'm going to be a daughter, she said firmly when Leslie Stahl asked whether she would be seeking a job in the Trump administration. The next morning, a sales representative from her jewelry line sent out a notice to journalists that the aforementioned gold bangle was Imka's favorite. It could be purchased for $10,800 through the Imka Trump Fine Jewelry website. Daughter slash businesswoman, businesswoman slash presidential advisor, of her new religion, she later told Vogue, It's been such a great life decision for me. I really find that with Judaism, it creates an amazing blueprint for family connectivity. From Friday to Saturday we don't do anything but hang out with one another. We don't make phone calls. Their religion even become an unlikely plot line in Trump's candidacy, when critics accuse the president-elect and some of his backers of making anti-Semitic appeals. Gushner wrote an op-ed defending Trump after the candidate tweeted an image of a six-pointed star and piles of money to attack Hillary Clinton. Just two days before the election, the Anti-Defamation League slammed on of Trump's campaign ads for what the civil rights group felt was anti-Semitic imagery. And those protests were renewed when Trump named former Breitbart exec Steve Bannon as chief strategist for his White House. Could Ivanka be reasoned with? Wondered the commenters who viewed her father as too unpredictable and were seeking reassurance. Was Ivanka the one secretly running the whole show? When there are no answers, it's easier to ask questions and adapt wild conspiracy theories as the answers. Are Ivanka and Jared Kushner concocting a House of Cards style game of their own? Vanity Fair asked this week, in an article about the hypothetical machinations of Ivanka and her husband. They were, the SA argued positioned to become the de facto first couple. Ivanka was the one who stayed focused. She was the one who had a politician's poise, and she held her highest cards close to her vest, president-elect Donald Trump and his daughter. Ivanka seems like the steeliest of the Trump clan, the kind of person who might bring a stiletto to a knife fight. Carlo Allegri, Reuters. What do we make of her? What is her end game, when she insists that she is not a political person? while advocating for politically divisive causes, like equal wages for women and paid maternity leave. When, while working on the transition team for the highest office in the land, she is simultaneously posting videos online of her with her office mates, goofing around, doing the mannequin challenge. Ivka, is the fairest of them all, but she also seems like the steeliest, the kind of person who might bring a stiletto to a knife fight. Ivka, poised to fight for child care reform, 
amid her own online pregnancy photos that revealed she was one of those women who looked as though she tucked a soccer ball down her size 2 dress and emerged nine months later with a baby, Vanka, poised to fight for child care reform, amid her own online pregnancy photos that revealed she was one of those women who looked as though she tucked a soccer ball down her size 2 dress and emerged nine months later with a baby, Ivka, in those other photos where and we realize that cameras are always catching things at weird angles and odd moments, but those photos where the president-elect always seems to be patting around his daughter's butt. She does have a very nice figure, Trump once said of his daughter. I've said that if Ivka weren't my daughter, perhaps, I would be dating her. Oh, Ivka. Oh God, Ivka, speak to us. We are listening. This entire election has been about large portions of the electorate puzzling over whether their candidate really intended to do the things he said he was going to do, trying to read the election's burned entrails for the future of the country. The country needs someone who is an expert in shadowy operations, who can report back from the inside what is really going on.